Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the Dr. Wu huh? Yeah, Dr. Wu <laughs> Tactical Commander. So yeah, Dr. Wu has been making uh, figures for a while, tiny figures, and now they're releasing their version of Ultra Magnus in a uh, really tiny mode, like almost world's smallest. I think it is actually world's smallest. So yeah, we got the box right here. This is the uh, cartoon version, I think. There is like a lot of rear deco coming uh, from Dr. Wu. There's this one, there's a gray one, like almost a, uh, you know, normal, uncolored, unpainted uh, PVC colored gray. There's a Nemesis one, there's a Shattered Glass, there's a toy one, a cartoon one. Uh, I think there's a transparent, translucent one. Uh, there's just so many. So yeah, this is the uh, cartoon one. So there you go. And uh, yeah, got the box and just only a simple photo in the back. So yeah, let's start uh, wasting time with the box and see what this. No, oh, we got this. We got a figure right here. We got first off card. We can focus. There you go. Just normal card with uh, some bump mapping, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. We got stats in the back, pictures. Uh, we have instructions. Now the transformation is super simple. So. Yeah, uh, instructions are good enough, pretty easy, everything is uh, easy to find, easy to work with, so, well, nothing on the back, no, nope. so there you go, instructions, and then we have accessories, now we have the two missiles, the cannon and the axe, so let's open this up, there you go, and check those out closer. So yeah, we got, uh, well, first off, the gun. Yeah, focus, oh, focus, there you go. Unpainted, no detail much. We do have a peg on the side here, so I'm gonna try and find out where it goes because the instruction doesn't mention. Uh, we have two tiny missiles. So we know where these goes. Oh, focus, there you go. Two tiny missiles. Just a red tip. It uh, the, the red tip doesn't remove, so we, we just like that. And finally, we have the Energon axe. Very cool. Again, we have another peg right here, so I guess we can peg it on truck mode or vehicle mode, robot mode, whatever. I don't know. So we'll take a look at this. And now we have the actual figure. So got the robot in the bag. Let's take this off robot here and we have the trailer there you go back all right so yeah the figure itself really cool it's just a repaint of the uh, uh optimus prime that came out maybe last year now i don't have any more i think i sold mine when i saw this one coming up <laughs> so yeah there you go now uh, of course for magnus having blue legs is kind of weird uh, there is a redeco, the one I think this, like I said, this is the uh, cartoon version and the toy version has white legs. It just came out like uh, maybe a week or two after this one, uh, the uh, the white leg one came out. So there you go. It looks a little bit more like Delta Magnus a little bit, not too sure. But yeah, it has blue legs, just kind of weird seeing like this. But it makes sense when it's all armored up. So yeah, there you go. Really cool Optimus with nice head sculpt. Cool paint. The head is on a ball joint, so of course the head can spin and move uh, up like this. But this is for transformation. The arm goes like this, swivel like this, so rotation. Uh, the elbow are on ball joints, so they can rotate. Nothing at the wrists. We do have well, it's not really uh, waist articulation. It's more like chest <laughs> rotation. But yeah, there you go. Uh, can do the split like this. Uh, the knee bends 90 degrees, well, a little bit less than 90 degrees, and the uh, foot, more like the, the toes, and flip like this, and it is also on a ball joint. So, there you go. Do have a tiny bit of a plate here for a backpack. It's not that great, but yeah, for the size of it, I mean, check this out, you know? <laughs> Next up, we have the trailer. So, real cool trailer. Looks like Magnus trailer. Oh, focus. Jeez. There you go. 
So yeah, not much for the trailer. There's no articulation, nothing. We do have the hitch right here that spins. We do have a couple of tabs, so yeah, we can put the uh, missiles on the side here, like such. And where's the other one? Right here. And we have also a couple of more on the side right here. So we can pick, for example, the cannon right here. And where's the axe? Right here. Oh, the axe is rather small. Doesn't fit too well. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe on the other side? Nope, too small. That's weird. No, that's very disappointing. So, yeah, can't put the axe on truck mode. Well, trailer mode. So, there you go. Got a trailer. So, yeah. Uh, we can make a small comparison with uh, the Magnus without the armor. So, here we have all my uh, Ultra Magnus armor last <laughs> without armors. So, yeah, we have right here the world's smallest, and you can see they are pretty much the same size. Can we focus? Come on. Yeah, I'm still not used to my new camera. There you go. So yeah, this is, uh, this is the world's smallest, and this is the Dr. Wu. You can see they're pretty much the same size. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, side by side, uh, we have the magic square right here. This one doesn't have head or uh, fists. That's because you, would, uh, you need to remove them for the armor, and my parts are stored. So there you go, headless, or uh, handless <laughs> magic square. We have the new age right here. We have the siege. Uh, we have my masterpiece MP10 radico into Magnus. And we have the perfect effect knockoff for the Combiner Wars. So, yeah, really cool. Nice armored, uh, armored less uh, Optimus Primes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, let's move on with the transformation into a truck mode. So, transformation into truck mode. Like I said, it's very easy. It's the same as the Optimus Prime that was released by Dr. Wu uh, maybe a year ago. Uh, also, I forgot to show it, but, yeah, you can see how he holds his axe. So, yeah. Just pick it on the fist like this, remove like this, so, yeah, there you go. So yeah, transformation, like I said, very simple. First up, clip on the legs together like this, put the toes straight, and then you want to push the legs in as much as you can, so like this. Next up, you want to rotate the torso, like such. Unplug the waist so that it goes like this. Take the head, rotate it all the way around, like such, and bring it down. Now you come over here underneath the armpits and you flip out the wheels. Flip out the wheels, and then you just bring the fist, uh, kind of like G1, so you just bring the fist like this. And like this, inside. And then you have the wheels right here, you can plug onto the arm, like such. And there you go, you have the truck mode all done. So, yeah, we're small, cute. Oh, forgot. <laughs> These panels need to be flipped like this. And now the transformation is complete. There you go. So, yeah, red bumper, kind of like the, I think it was the masterpiece that had the red bumper. I'm not too sure which one another. But, uh, yeah, uh, we do have like these two nudge right here tabs. This is for the trailer. So you have the tab right here, you just put it on. It holds, but not a lot. But it holds, so that's it. And we have the truck and the trailer. So yeah, really cool. Looks great. And focus. There you go. Really small. Super cute. <laughs> so uh, let's do a quick comparison with the whole family of Magnus that they have. Holy jeez, <laughs> I got, uh, yeah, it's hard to center everything in the frame, but uh, yeah, we got the Dr. Wu right here. We got the world's smallest right here, and you can see the world's smallest is even bigger. So, <laughs> yeah, bigger trailer. But uh, yes, cab size is very similar, even though the, the, the robot modes were pretty similar also. Cab is also really similar. So, yeah, there you go. We got the Iron Factory versus uh, v v version 1. There's another one coming in from... Um, it, it, was it coming? No, it, it's not out yet. But yeah, we got the first version of Miltarinus. 
Iron Factory, we got the Papa Toys, we got the Titanium, we got the Shibi looking uh, version. Uh, who made this? I forgot, I, I, I have a blank. We got another Iron Factory right here. This is the first version. Yeah, okay, this is the second. This is the first, right? <laughs> Mixed up with it. There's so many. We got the first version of Magic Square. We have the New Age right here. We have the second version of Magic Square. Uh, we have my MP10, but without armor. Uh, I never had an armor with it. I know there's like uh, 3D printed ones. I really want to get my hands on it, but eh, you know, don't have a 3D printer. We have the Combiner Wars, my masterpiece, and we have the Siege in the back. So, yeah. There you go. See all of them. Yeah, nice little family. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let me clean the table and let's transform Ultra Magnus with his armor on as a robot. So, yeah. So, transformation into armor mode or armored Magnus mode. Very easy. First up, from the truck mode, just bring these panel down like this. On peg the arms and bring them out like such. And on the other side also, like such. There you go. Close these wheel, bring the torso down. Basically, you're putting it into robot mode. Rotate the chest, but except you leave the head down like this and you rotate the arms up like this. Like this. Unpack the legs. Now, I'm not too sure if you have to extend the leg. I kind of like it, so extend the leg. There you go, put the feet. So, that's the body ready to receive the armor. Let's put this here. Yeah, let's try it. I could stand at least. <laughs> Alright, remove the weapon from the, uh, from the trailer, like this. Uh, lift up these, and you have this panel that will come undone. It unpegs from the side right here, like this. Clip, clip. So this goes here. Unpeg this, like this. Bring the arms down, down, and then you bend this right here, like this, and you bring it all the way, like such. There you go. Rotate the arms, and leave it like that for now. You can. If you want, put the missiles in, radiate up, there you go. So, yeah, leave this for now on the side. Take this card right here, you want to unclip these, like such, and pull on the red part, there you go. So, untap these, these are the foot, feet, boots, whatever, <laughs> close this, close this. Alright, so let's start assembling now. So you take the foot right here and you can see there's a uh, space for the feet. Put a foot, the toes, there you go, just bend it and slide it in and it will clip. So that's where we have the blue boots. The blue boots fits perfectly with the rest and even that part right here in the middle is also blue so that's good. There you go. So over here, bend the toes a little bit like this, slide it in, there you go, pick it in, there you go. So we have the boots all done. Now, you take this piece right here, that's the head, the the, the sort of a nudge right here. I want to focus. The, there's a nudge right here, it is the front. So like such. Now you have like these two tabs underneath will peg into the front tabs of the arms, like such. So you got this now. Next up you take the armor. Slide it in here. It won't hold too much, but when you bring it here, it will clip with the red tabs right here, like such. And it clips in, and there you go. We have our Ultra Magnus. Now you can give him his gun. There you go. So voila, we have the armored up Ultra Magnus. Looks really cool. Nice blue, and lots of nice detail. Look at the head. We had some metallic painted eyes really cool the head is on a ball joint so you can move up and down rotate no problems the arm are on a ball joint so it can tilt and swivel rotate we do have rotation at the uh, biceps the elbow bend a little bit more than nine degrees uh the fists don't rotate so yeah 
Uh, we don't have waist rotation. The legs can bend like this, forward, backward. The knee bends uh, a little bit less than 90 degrees. And we don't have, oh yeah, we have a tilt right here for the heels. Well, the, the feet. They don't tilt up or down, but that's it. So yeah, really cool, cute little figure. I really dig this. Dr. Wu makes really cool figure lately, like smallish figure. So yeah, can we put the axe? And it's gonna be a tight fit, I think. I haven't tried this, so I don't know. No, 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 don't do this. I just saw it bent. So nope, the axe is not working. But I don't know where we can store this either. There's no pegs. Oh, maybe here on the side of the arm? Nope, it doesn't. Nope. And either here. Nope. There's no spot. I mean, I hate when they do that, when they give you, you know, accessories that can't be used in either mode. So, uh, anyway, there you go. Let's do a comparison with the other Ultra Magnus. There we are, all my Magnus collection, and yeah, that was a wild trade day transforming all of those. So, yeah, we have the Dr. Wu right here in the middle. We have the world smallest, which is now bigger than the Dr. Wu, so it's not a world smallest anymore. Uh, we have the Magic Square V2, Siege, Puppet Toys, Combiner Wars, Iron Factory V1. Uh, the, I think, I don't remember who made this, Kids Logic? I'm not. I don't remember. Magic Square V1, uh, New Age, no, yeah, uh, New Age? No, Magic Square V2, uh, Titanium, Masterpiece MP10, Iron Factory uh, V2, and the Masterpiece. So, yeah, lots of big family. <laughs> but yeah, the Dirt Turbo is really awesome. I really, really uh, uh, suggest to buy it. It's really fun, it's cute, it's a small figure. But it's so nice. Well, focus. Well, yeah, really cool figure. Highly recommend. Fun toys, Dr. Wu. Like I said, there's like dozens of colors, uh, repaints from this guy already. Or they just, uh, they're still coming out real soon. So, yeah, this is the uh, first release, which is uh, the uh, cartoon version, I think. But uh, yeah, really nice. I really dig it. But uh, yeah, this is the Dr. Wu Tactical Commander DWE23. High recommend. Go ahead and pick it up. Otherwise, you know the song, like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Focus. Jeez, focus. There you go.